Hey guys, it's Magda. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, September 12th. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're into September. And I looked outside in my backyard today and there's already a tree that's completely yellow on September 12th, like a month before it should be. It's crazy. It's totally crazy to me. But anyway, the weather's coming. The change is coming for sure. And actually, speaking of change, that was uh, quite the segue that I didn't plan, but we're changing things up a little bit um, today. Uh, we were on a 30-day journey, a current 30-day journey, our third 30-day journey, but we're backing things up a little bit and making today day six instead of day 21. This Today would have been day 21 body challenge, but we're backing it up to day six because there's a few timelines trying to insert themselves into my current life, and I want to be able to combine a few of them. Um, it will just sim simplify my way of thinking and my way of preparing um, for what's coming. So today is day six of a specific 30-day journey that I am on. And at the end of this 30-day journey, which is going to be day 30, will be October 6th. Um, then the 7th, 8th, and 9th of October, I'm going to take off from exercising for a reason. You guys are going to be there with me, so relax. We just have to get there. It's about 24 days away from today. So we're going back in time. If you never thought that we could, we just did. We just backed things up to day six from day 21. Isn't that cool? Anyway, and we're going to start today with chest day. And this is what we're going to do if you want to take a little pick. We're going to go through this one by one. We're going to get through this today, and I'm going to repeat this four more times after we are off a of video like I do. This is a circuit I do with you guys, and I talk too much, um, but then I'll repeat it much quicker and four more times when we're off a of video. So here we go. Let me reposition you. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're starting in hard right away with a bench press. A flat bench press. Here we go. Much stronger today. I didn't feel very strong the other day when we did this workout. I didn't feel like I got the kind of workout that I usually like to get. And then yesterday, I was going to work out and I went for a walk first. And I actually couldn't even go for my full walk. I had such a splitting headache yesterday that I canceled my walk I was with my friend and I didn't even bring the bird because I felt so sick and I knew I didn't feel well um, but I'm like let me try to go for this walk and see how I feel and uh, not even like a quarter into the walk I said I just can't do this I have such a splitting headache and then I realized late last night like 11 30 p.m. that I never made coffee yesterday and that really sucks in a way because for a few reasons because, first of all, how do you drink coffee every day and forget to make coffee one day? Hello, first of all. And second of all, why am I so hooked on coffee that without it I get a splitting headache? Some people consider coffee a drug. You know, some people avoid it at all costs, just like alcohol or cocaine or whatever bad you can think of. Um, I don't see coffee that way, um, but damn. I definitely found out that I'm hooked. So, definitely had my coffee today. I feel fine. I feel great. And I definitely have my coffee prepared for tomorrow. <laughs> All right, I don't know how many that was, but that's enough for now. This is only our first circuit, guys. So, if you're new here, I do a circuit with you guys, and then I repeat the circuit either three or four more times, depending how long the circuit is. This one is not terribly long, so I'm going to repeat it four more times. What's next, guys? Just a few bicep curls. And I think we did 15 pounds last time. I think with 15 pounds, we just do a few less. If it was 10 pounds, then uh, we would do more. I think higher weight and lesser repetitions is for strength and lower weight with higher repetitions is for definition. I think that's how the rule goes, right? Do 
definitely feeling stronger today. My goodness, what a difference a day can make. After I came home from that walk yesterday, walk that I never went on, I fell asleep from about 7 p.m. to 11.30 p.m., like out. So I'm actually glad. I'm, I'm glad I took the day. I hate to take the day off, but sometimes I just like, I push myself too hard. So. I'm very excited for this next, whatever, 24 more days because that weekend that we're gonna take off from exercise is gonna be a really fun weekend. I got some things planned. And then there's just some other timelines that were at the same time trying to like insert themselves. Just when I know more, I'll tell you guys more. I don't want to say too much ahead of time and then like, oh, it fell through, it didn't happen, sorry. No. If I'm going to talk about something for real, it's going to happen. So this, this just made things a little easier for me. It combined two timelines into one and it's just simpler in my head right now. It's not as cluttered. <laughs> All right, our little push-up practice for the day, right? I'm gonna go just over there. Um, which way did we do this? Like this yesterday or the day before? <sighs> no crash. Can't crash. I'll be crashing by the end of this, I'm sure. <laughs> Your muscles get fatigued after a while. I showed um, my patient today that I always talk about the health and exercise with and everything. I showed him my progression of getting to a real push-up today. And he's like, he was like, well, that actually makes sense. And I'm like, it actually, like, some in some weird way, doing this in four different phases, it really does work. And it made sense to him too. He's like, oh, he's like, what do you mean you did it like this? What do you mean I had to like show him a couple moves? It was hilarious. It was awesome. And he's like, yeah, that makes sense. And he's like, what about that push up that you do from your knees? I'm like, that's, that's a cheating push-up. That's not a real push-up. And he's like, that's still a push-up. It just works your muscles less. And he's right, because you're just not putting as much weight on your arms and your shoulders and everything. You're still getting the workout, but it's kind of like, to me, it's like half the workout. So I want to I wanna do the real deal. Because we moved back to day six, I'm not moving back in the timeline of progressing towards the push-up. We just have extra time to do this phase and phase four. So I'm gonna split the next 24 days. I'm gonna do the next 12 days of maybe next nine days of the phase three, and then we're gonna move into phase four for a while. Um, so then we'll just have extra time and we'll still do that push-up on our new day 30. It will just be a, a little pushed out. So I don't have to work, I don't have to do as many repetitions because we have a lot more time to do this. So instead of four, I just did three. Because we're gonna be doing this a lot. So flat dumbbell flies, guys. And I think the other day we realized that we can do 15 pounds here, which is a very lovely realization. We, we, Realization, realization, yeah. We're getting stronger whether we like it or not, guys. I have so many things going on at this moment. I can't even, I can't even process everything. But I'm telling you guys, this is the major thing on my channel right now because this is ground zero. Like, 
help, like good food and exercise, that's ground zero. That's where we have to all start from. Without like good food and exercise in our life, like we can't build, we can't build a good healthy lifestyle without that. So this is why this channel is currently focused on the health aspect of things. But like I told you guys, in a little bit more of the, like a little bit longer, like let's say if we needed a timeline, let's say it would be maybe in two and a half months from now, things are gonna change up on this channel. But you guys are gonna have to just hang out and thank you for being here and um, stick around for a minute. In the meantime, we're gonna keep doing this bad assery as we've been because I think we've been killing it all right um, some wood chops I love the wood chops you know I love the wood chops all right move over here a little bit I think you should be able to see me there all right chop chop oh, up a little bit a little crooked sorry sorry you're a little crooked there we go mm, nice hairdo all right oh, I like these these are awesome oh, nice and controlled the whole way I'm definitely starting to see some changes in my arms which is really really cool This is seven, eight, nine, and ten. I talked to my mom today. She was so funny. She's like, she's look. She must have been watching my videos or a video or whatever. I don't think she watches on the regular, but she's like, why are you talking about losing weight on your channel or on your videos? She sa she says, why are you trying to lose weight on your videos? Um, she's like, I thought you already lost a whole bunch of weight. And I have, I lost a whole bunch of weight, but I have another goal of 30 pounds for myself. So I don't think she knew that. So I told her it was just like, it was just funny. And she's like, why are you trying to lose weight in your videos? I'm like, well, I'm just not where I feel like I belong. So I feel like another 30 pounds. If I exchange 30 pounds of muscle fat for 30 pounds of muscle I'm gonna look extremely different and I think that's my goal that's why we started the weightlifting again because I just want to make that shift 30 pounds of fat is like twice the size of 30 pounds of muscle that's not what I'm going for I'm not I'm not going for all the rolls and all the fat and all that, this and that. I want to be strong. I don't mind being curvy. Curvy is okay. I just want to have some strength. I want to have some fitness in my life. A little curvy is fine. I've always been a little curvy. But then at some point in my life, I got just terribly depressed and I gained like 130 pounds. You can say like, how could you let that happen? It happened over the years of just depression and not caring and just like, whatever, 130 pounds came on. So I've lost a hundred pounds. I'm down to another 30. I think that's a huge accomplishment and I'm very proud of myself. Yeah. I'm proud of myself for coming back from where I've been. Huge. And we'll talk about all that. Without you guys there for me to interact back and forth with and like without being able to address stuff, 
in real time, like these are topics for the future when I have actually a live audience. Okay guys, another push-up practice. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, this is a really good stretch. Oh my God. Wow. What a good stretch. All right. good. I'm going to keep it at three because we got all this extra time to do this. I don't want to burn myself out. Okay. Incline bench press. All right, guys, I already did the incline before we went to the push up, So we're ready to go. Can't wait to get my Smith machine. That's gonna be so killer. Yep, boop, boop. Just put it back in the rack when you're done. Oh. We're gonna do like deadlifts like crazy when we get the Smith machine. We're gonna be like deadlift obsessed. So much nicer to do it with a Smith machine. I think that's going to be my next major purchase for sure. I don't even know how much you go for. Maybe they're in the thousands. I don't know. But that will be my next, my next goal in life. Definitely investing in a home gym. We don't know what kind of viruses are heading our way. And we never know when our gyms are going to close. I love the use of Planet Fitness. Oh, this is heavy. Um, but I never know when they're gonna go out of service. You never know. And we are so like slammed by this virus and you don't know what's coming next for us. We have no idea. Oh, a few sit-ups, guys, a few sit-ups. So it's always nice to have an option to be able to work out at home. And like I, like I told you guys, like, like fitness and diet. Shush. Am I talking too much? I get it. I get it. I, I think that my audience agrees. Um, just stretching a little bit. But diet and exercise, like it's such a beautiful option to be able to work out at home. What a time saver too. When you're working full time and then some like me, you know, you don't have time to commute back and forth to a gym. Come home, change, go to the gym, work out, come home, you know, shower, blah, blah, blah. It's like a, 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 at least two and a half hours out of your day extra that you probably don't have. So having the option of doing this at home is just everything. So I'm gonna keep investing in my home gym for sure. For sure. Oh God. I said this the other day, but I can't believe how easy these sit-ups have become. They used to be so difficult. That means we got some abs going, guys. There's some abs under those fat rolls. They're trying to make their way out. I know, Bird, I know. You got abs too. You got abs under that fat blue belly. I know you do. We're gonna go on a walk in a few minutes, Bird, okay? It's almost walkie time. We're gonna go for a walk today for sure. Boy, what a difference a day makes. 
I don't know what this is, but that's enough for now. A little stretch for your low back. Give yourself a hug. Mm. Feels good. Feels good. Stretching feels so good. Okay. Sit-ups. Incline flies. Awesome. So we're already in position for some flies. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think we decided the other day that we're going to stick for these, for the incline flies, still with the tens. Because the incline is a tougher position than flat. It works a different, like it works your muscles in a different way, in a different position, obviously. And it's, we're weaker in this position. So, whereas I could do like 10 or 12, um, 15 pound flies with flat, I can't do those on an incline. But we'll build up to that little by little. is right <laughs> 15 but this sounds like it feels like enough it might have been like eight and I just said it was 15 I don't know I wasn't counting at all okay <laughs> I think I did 73 all right dumbbell pullovers oh these were cool the other day all right I think I mentioned we went with chest day again today because I don't feel like I got like a full workout the other day so I just wanted to do it right this time. Okay. Oh my goodness. These are so good. Oh God. What a stretch. So we're doing chest day today. Tomorrow will be a leg day, which is a really hard day and I wasn't sure if I'd be ready for leg day today, though the way I feel now, I feel like I would have been okay for leg day, but I didn't want to take a chance on leg day and like ruin that. So I'm like, okay, let me just skip a day back and do chest again. My chest felt fine. And then we'll put everything into leg day tomorrow, guys. Leave it on the gym floor, as they say. Whatever you bring in, Leave it on the gym floor. My goodness. Maybe in another 30 pounds I'll become a gym rat. Wouldn't that be a trip? All my videos from the gym. <laughs> hey, who knows? Two more. Good. Very good workout. I love that. They call it, when you do it in the chair, well, some people call it a tricep extension. But in this, it was called dumbbell pullovers. So you got to be careful how some exercises can be called the different names. And they're like the same move. Okay. Oh, is that it? One more push-up practice? That's it, one more push-up practice, and that's our circuit for today. And I'm gonna keep going without you guys. What am I on time, anyway? It's 6.26 now. If my friend and I are going for a walk, it won't be for another 35 minutes, so I'm gonna keep going, and then I'll finish after our walk. It's kind of weird to break it up like that, but it will have to happen that way, I guess. Okay, we can do this, come on. Okay, no crash yet. We haven't crashed once yet, but I'm feeling it, man. Whew. It's a workout. I'm looking forward to doing real push-ups. I really am. Those are gonna be an awesome workout. We're getting there.
just had a little brain sidetrack there for a second. I have so many things on my mind right now. I can't even organize it all. Okay, guys. Good. That's our circuit for today, guys. So, yikes. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Today was an awesome circuit. I'm going to keep going, and I will see you guys again so soon. Bye.